Welcome to another TI Inspire CX tutorial. In this session, we will explore some of the ways you can generate an arithmetic sequence using the spreadsheet application. We'll use some common spreadsheet techniques in addition to sequence commands demonstrated in some of our other tutorials. We'll start with the simplest arithmetic sequence, the set of counting numbers starting with 1. We could continue entering numbers manually, however there is a much faster way. Use the shift and arrow keys to highlight the first two terms. Then from the data menu select fill, arrow down and press enter. The spreadsheet automatically generates the sequence based on the initial term in cell A1 and the common difference calculated on the difference between cells A2 and A1. So, to generate the set of odd numbers, we can type a 3 into cell A2, highlight cells A1 and A2 using the shift and arrow keys, and from the data menu select fill, arrow down, and press enter. You may have noticed that when the value in cell A2 was changed, the sequence did not automatically update. Sequences generated using this technique are static. If you want to make the sequence responsive or dynamic, then use a formula. Spreadsheet formulas start with an equal sign. In this example, we'll use a recursive formula to generate a subset of the odd numbers. In cell A2, we type the formula equals A1 plus 2. This equates literally as the previous term plus 2. This time we only select cell A2 where the formula is located. Then fill, arrow down and enter. We can now change the initial term in cell A1 and watch as the entire sequence is updated automatically. We can make the sequence even more dynamic by placing the common difference in cell B1. This time we need to use an absolute referencing technique. Once again we'll use the recursive approach that each term is equal to the previous one plus a common difference. The dollar sign preceding the B means that our formula will always reference column B. The dollar sign preceding the 1 means the formula will always reference row 1. This combination locks the reference to cell B1. Highlight in the cell containing the formula, then fill, arrow down, and enter. Now we can change the initial term or the common difference. We can also use variables defined elsewhere within the same problem to control the sequence. To illustrate this I'll insert a calculator application and define the initial term a equals 0 and the common difference d equals 5. We return to the spreadsheet and enter these variables in cells a1 and b1 respectively, remembering to include the equal sign. I'll name my sequence so that it can be accessed easily from the variable menu and other applications. Now changing the initial term or common difference automatically changes or updates the entire sequence.
Now we'll explore the sequence command in the spreadsheet. The sequence commands can be used to populate a column in the spreadsheet. The command is placed in the formula bar located between the column name and the spreadsheet cells. We'll start by generating a subset of the even numbers. The advantage of this technique is that there is no need to use the fill operation. Sequence commands can also use variables defined elsewhere within the same problem. It's also possible to change the number of terms in the sequence using variables defined within the same problem. The techniques demonstrated in this tutorial are equally applicable to geometric sequences. To create an even more powerful tool for explorations, check out our video on geometric sequences in the Notes application. To practice the skills developed in this tutorial, download the worksheet from the Texas Instruments Australia website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive notifications as more tutorials are added to this series and register for our e-newsletter to get more tips and tricks on how to make the most of your TI Inspire. Thanks for watching.